Hola muchachos, como estáis? I have a very interesting video for you today. It's about how to deal with jerky engines. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't like one and two cylinder bikes because they think that these engines are jerky on low RPM. But usually it's not really a problem, uh, because there is a pretty easy way to deal with this jerkiness. For starters, let's see what makes the engine feel jerky. Uh, what people usually consider jerky engine uh, happens at the moment when you just start opening the throttle. Uh, this happens because of two reasons. First one happens because when your clutch is all out and your throttle is fully closed, your bike inevitably starts engine braking. Then, when you start to open the throttle, even if you do it pretty slow, your bike will have a little jog because of the slack in the whole transmission – chains, sprockets, uh, gears, etc. When you were engine braking, all the transmission was loaded one way. And then, when you open the throttle and start accelerating, transmission is loaded the opposite way. So. Because the transmission always have some slack, it does a little jerk when you start opening throttle from fully closed position. Second reason for jerky engine is present on newer uh, fuel-injected bikes. On idle, they usually use pretty lean fuel mixture for emission purposes. And when you start to open throttle, the mixture becomes richer. That creates pretty big leap in torque uh, which your engine produces. And this also feels like jerkiness. Now, uh, when this engine jerkiness really annoys us? On higher speeds, like roughly above 30-40 miles per hour, depending on how much your bike weights, uh, these jerks usually don't bother us very much, uh, because for these kinetic engines, their influence is usually pretty minor. On super slow speeds, like from 0 to 5-7 miles per hour, we also can pretty much ignore the jerkiness, because we can completely delete it by using friction zone technique. But in our everyday riding, especially if you live in crowded urban area, uh, we spend a lot of time in this middle range of speed, this 10, 20, 30, 40 miles per hour range. On these speeds, we can use our rear brake to remove these jerky engine moves. How it works? Pretty simple. When you are closing your throttle, instead of closing it all the way, you can leave it slightly opened. Slightly I mean super slightly, just crack opened. And to compensate for the lack of engine braking, you can apply rear brake. You don't need much rear brake. It's just to compensate for the lack of engine braking. This technique works very good, especially when cornering. Ok, let's do an exercise. First, go straight and try to super slowly open and close the throttle. Notice that no matter how slowly you open and close the throttle, you always have that slight jerk when you start to open throttle. Now, let's do what we just talked about. Again, go straight, open and close throttle slowly, but don't close throttle completely now. Leave it open just a tad. And as you close in throttle, now start gradually applying rear brake to compensate for the lack of engine braking. And as you slowly open the throttle, don't forget to slowly release the brake too. Make sure you do everything in a very smooth and controlled way. As you become proficient, and you notice that uh, your bike accelerates and decelerates very smooth, without any jogs, it's time to implement this technique for cornering. Do this, go straight, then, as you start to enter the corner, slowly close the throttle almost all the way and apply little pressure on rear brake. Then, when it's time to accelerate, slowly release the rear brake and slowly open the throttle. Repeat this many times and eventually you should achieve pretty smooth cornering, uh, which is pretty handy when you corner at significant lean angles and in wet pavement conditions. If you like this video, please put a like and hit the subscribe button. And join our Patreon page, it has a lot of interesting instructional videos there. And join our new riders Facebook group.
Uh, you can ask any question there or send your training videos. Thank you for watching. Adios.